I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I had better follow the instructions. I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. 
I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Uh, no thanks. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Oh, I love carrying stuff. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Hmm, there's no film in the camera. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Smile! Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. We should go find the sheriff. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that?
signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Eek! Boop! Click, 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 click. Beep! Beep! Quack! Squeak! Quack! Squeak! No need. The perps are outside. Was Beep! Heek! Quack! Beep! It's locked. Wait up, eager beaver. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> I'm Agent Reyes, and this is my partner, Agent Ray. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future, Who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it.
Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt of who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state-of-the-art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Dorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The face areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folka who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. So what does the Facetron 3000 do again? Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape and it will do a match -a Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do a who. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out. It's already closed. We should go find the sheriff. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 a Reno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Renos in a pot of Reno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno.
You... I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Impressive, but nothing happened. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Fluoride is a conspiracy to brainwash your kids. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. This has fingerprints for everyone in Thimbleweed Park. Certified Fingertron 3000 compact. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch, just a bunch of files. It's a police radio. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Breaker, one nine, breaker, breaker. <laughs> Is this thing on? Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. I shouldn't be using official county equipment.
No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. We're the feds, you can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey, but you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or 10 years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book.
It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the f clown $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. It's my f lawyer's business card. Meanest clown of 19 Meanest clown of 1977 Very cozy It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll It's a perfect likeness of me Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big Ransom I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage Autographs are a hundred bucks Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer I don't want your autograph Okay, 50 then I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! It's an IOU. Ransom the f clown lost a thousand dollars to me, Carney Joe, and I will hold his joke book hostage until I get. No one out there. They must be all waiting for my show. No one out there. That's the main exit. Bunch of losers who don't want to see my show. That's the moron entrance. That's the moron entrance, moron. Do I look like a moron to you? B bunch of losers who don't want to see- It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top. My own pro- My own pro- It must be that other clown's hat. I don't do hats. It's my special custom-made clown makeup. I am tired of putting it on every night. Sure as wish there were a more permanent variety. Now there's the face I love. My hair is all my hair is all frizzy. I can't go on like this. Gotta groom it up so I don't look like a what? My hair is all frizzy. I can't go on like this. Gotta groom it up so I don't look like a wanker. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. This goop keeps my clown fro erect. Can't have a limp clown fro or anything else. Ooh, my clown fro looks great now. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. goes outside don't that goes out that goes outside don't you remember for brains Ooh, nice crowd tonight Ooh, nice crowd tonight i'm at the top of my game i'm gonna give them the insults of their lives as Ooh, nice crowd tonight i'm at the top of my game i'm gonna i can't open that i'm not a wannabe pirate you'll never get me to climb into one of those it must be that other clown's hat i don't do hats
I don't wear hats. Ooh, nice crowd tonight. Ooh, nice crowd tonight. I can't go on stage without my... I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. It's my Ransom the Clown swear jar with 138 bucks in it. My contract states that I'm the only one who's allowed to swear. Anyone else caught swearing has to pay up. I'll just take the big bucks. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. That goes outside, don't you remember? You got my money, Clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe, Clown? One thousand clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Yeah, thought you'd settle for less. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Shoot the bunny. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown? I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. F you, I'm out of here. My own private... I can't reach that. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best... It's already closed. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. He's happy where he is, aren't you, little Ransom? I glued him to the table so no one can steal him.
My it's my lumpy circus. It's really lumpy. I tried to hide it better. That doesn't seem to work. It came off the wall. It's my clothes. It's my clothes safe where I keep all my money. It's my clothes safe where I keep all my money. It's my clothes safe where I keep all my money. That's a load of moolah. It's my safe. It's my safe. You. I can't re shoot the bunny. You got my money ransom, the ass white clown. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Grand prize if you could shoot the hair off, Ransom the Clown! My own private ba my own private Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now like, it. we can do better. You guys are obsessed with this Chuck guy. Seriously, I haven't seen brainwashing like this since the Manson family. Blink twice, you want me to get help? Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off! 
hop on my private jet and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this f makeup isn't coming off. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, gritty little Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him.